Canaries are a brightly colored social birds indigenous to the Canaries Islands. Sturdy and easy to care for. They regularly lived 10 to 15 years and have been known to live even up to 20. With a basic knowledge of canary care, we or you, if for those of us that want to have canaries as pets, should be able to establish a long relationship with your uh, one of these friendly canary pet animals. You are welcome to my channel. This is Princess Chief Vlog. And as you can see right there on your screen today, we are cleaning our canary's cage, making it to look hygienic, neat, clean, and conducive for them, you know, to live in. Don't forget, these canaries are now in a new environment with a new families. So they have to get used to their new environment and get used to the new families that have, you know, adopted them or bought them as pets. <laughs> so that is my king right there, you no, know, trying to clean up the whole place, disinfect the cage and all that so guys i will be telling you if you are a lover of animals like i do i love animals a lot and uh, so also is hobby but not all animals like hobby doesn't like serpents i i do and not that i love them i like them you know they are just harmless creatures anyways so <laughs> Yes, so as you watch uh, what Hobby is doing, I will be giving you uh, a little talk on how, you know, you can um, care for your canaries, how we can care for our canaries. So, number one thing is buying a big cage. You know, canaries like to fly from side to side, making it important that you must make it important that you have a very wide, but not necessarily tall cage for one canary. Your cage should be about 16, 16 to 32 tall and uh, 60 wide if there are two of them. But if they are only, if it's only one, it should be 16 tall and 30 wide i hope you're getting what i'm saying now the larger the cage the better for the canaries because canaries love space you know now like human beings we want our space our privacy you know to do our thing so also are these lovely beautiful canary beds they want you know they love their they love their space then for when we care for this canary, we should be sure that the area we put this cage has good light and ventilation. Yes, we should take off take very good uh, note of that. Uh, the cage wherever we want to put the canary cage, like I said, it should have a good light and ventilation. Without a draft, it should be away from doors and windows too, that will allow for direct sunlight because. That might make it too warm. Um, it should be near one wall to create a greater sense of security for the canaries. Now hang the cage or place it on a stand so that the cage is elevated approximately six feet above the floor. So you can see Hobby changing their swimming pool. That is where they normally take their beds, you know, jumping up and down you know refreshing themselves you know we are in summer and the weather is crazily hot over here you know so when the weather is hot they just swim in their swimming pool who says bears don't enjoy <laughs> my canaries are really catching for no forget it <laughs> then another thing for us to care for these uh, canaries is to instill patches Yes, we instead purchase when you get to the store where you they sell this pet, you have to buy natural wood to install along the cage for patches. Buy patches of different diameters to add some diversity um to your uh, um canaries experience because canaries like to fly horizontally. Yes, that's one thing you should know. Canaries love to fly horizontally rather than up or down. 
place the perches on side of the cage across from one another. Some canaries also like swings, like swing, swing, carry on, coming for to carry me home. <laughs> so there, the hobby is putting a new banana for them. This pets are really enjoying we give them their biscuits that is their biscuit and then we give them banana you know we give, make them give them even in their food you have to mix some protein in their food so that they can eat they can look you know they can stay alive and look um healthy now if you buy canaries make sure that um You do not uh, put anything. They don't allow the cage to be too stuffed with things, you know. Give them a breathing uh, space. Then another thing we should consider when we want to rear canary uh, is uh, how we need to clean the, their cage regularly. Like what Hobby is doing right now. Cleaning the cage, disinfecting it, giving them their food and all that, you know. So, yeah, you are changing their grain. This is what they eat. This is the food canaries eat. So, we need to clean their cage. Mm -hmm. They like line the bottom of the cage with plain paper, as you've seen Hobby did in the, in the, in the video. You know, such as a, a butcher's paper. Every day you should replace this paper and clean water and food balls. Once a week, use uh, soap and water or bed cage disinfectant to wash down the entire cage avoid using bleach please do not use bleach to clean it so here is a another side of their food you can see it that one comes with color this is uh this helps to retain their colors their feathers makes them to retain their colors make them glow their their colors so that is what that food you are just watching on your screen is and there is the environment. This is our environment where we put the canaries outside, you know. <laughs> so if you are a lover of beds, go get some nice beds. Then another thing you should know is water regularly. Yes, water them regularly. Canaries can die after 24 hours without water. Yes, they, can, they are very, very feeble, you know. They can't stand a longer period of time without water. You know what they say about water? Water is the life. So that is the hobby placing the canaries. You know, like I said before, you have to place it six uh, above the the ground, six feet high above the ground. So that is it there. And so, like I said, you should have a large water dish in the cage that you refill regularly. Tap water should be good for your canaries. However, if you know that your local water standards are poor, consider using um, bottled water. Okay? So, these are the things that you need to, uh, we need to do to take care of our canaries so that they can stay longer and, you know, live longer. Canaries also feed on the seeds, you know, like you see, they feed on seed and grain, special food meant for them you know so feed your canaries with fruits and vegetables too yes about 20 to 25 percent of your canaries daily diet should consist of fruits and vegetables okay every day wash and cut some fruits or vegetables into very tiny pieces place less than a teaspoon in a separate dish vary the type of fruits and vegetables you feed your canaries frequently avocado pear is poisonous to canaries Lettuce does not offer sufficient nutrition. Good.